Good day everybody, welcome to Lorraine's Expressions Art Studio. Um so excited to do another piece. Um did one yesterday and oh gosh, I've got to show you. Uh, it just turned out it, it will be the video oops before this one. Sorry, I'm just uh, knocking things over here. I don't know if you can see this piece properly here with all the glare and the reflection and everything but I'm just so excited about this piece it turned out real well and uh, <laughs> I get excited so this one was done yesterday and if you want to watch a video you um, should just uh, look for the one below this one should be so I've got this canvas, I haven't primed it, it just is as is from the, sh from the shop and um, I've just tightened the, the, the wedges underneath so that it kind of has it that nice bounce. Probably could have tightened it a bit more but see how we go now. Um, simply because I want to try and contain what I've got up here. And I want to have like a white background and just a little bit of color. Don't need a lot of color, but I need quite a bit of that white. So actually a bit more, lots of white and a little bit of other colors, you know. So 10% is going to be oh, quite a bit. And I don't think actually it's going to be all of this plus more. So I'm just going to pour it in there. I just have lots of these jars that uh, have a tiny bit left in there that I can't scrape up. So what I do is I just uh, use it to, to scrape it all up with with my resin. It's the best way to get it all out. So don't waste any. I mean, the pigments, not just my pigments, but uh, most pigments out there are quite expensive. So you don't want to waste them. You know, you do what you can to preserve them. So in it goes, right in here. And I will need some more. So actually I should have uh, mixed that. I've got another jar here. What I'm going to do is just get it all back in there. And then you use the jar to scrape the the actual <coughs> excuse me the stick. So that's that one, and I've got a little bit left in this little jar. So it's it's about ten percent. I'm eyeballing everything. I've done it so many times now that I don't even worry. Even if I go a little bit over ten percent. Although this is definitely going to be under 10% because i got quite a bit of resin in there. So I wanted to talk about this artist. Well, she's on my mind and she's been on my mind since last night. I've watched one of her videos and then I couldn't stop. Um, <laughs> she's Her name is uh, Kathy Lane. She's an Aussie, Aussie lady. And she's just an amazing, amazing resin artist. I mean the things that she does and creates with resin without using a torch very much just to pop the bu the bubbles you know. Um, she creates this beautiful uh, she dances and that kind of theme. Uh, it's just amazing. Beautiful gorgeous flowers. So do go look her up. I'm gonna see if I Hopefully I won't forget to put the link to her channel uh, below in the description so that you can see. Kathy Lane is her name and she's absolutely inspired me. And I commented on a few of her videos because each one I watched it was like, wow, 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 do they get any better, you know? <laughs> like, this is amazing. And she, this is a real humbling thing to me, is that she replied... To all of them saying you know that um, you know she's very grateful for for the comment this and that and uh, that she's um, followed a lot of my my 
my YouTube videos and learned a lot from me. And to me, to hear that and just to read that, it's it's just mind blowing. Seriously, because I don't do anything like what she does. It's just um, she's just amazing. She really is. But you know what? To a teacher, and I didn't give myself the a title of of a teacher. You know, um, others have. Because I do tutorials and I, you know, do, well, I did do workshops and things like that. Um, but to a teacher, the, the best compliment you could ever, ever get is to hear or to witness your student do better than you. You know, it's, uh, it's just mind-blowing, the, the, you know, how, how amazing that feels and how humble I feel so anyway let's go just gonna do gonna try and cover I will go sideways because actually I might go I might do a, a flat line so let's go this way let's just see I'm super inspired by Kathy Lane and I do want to do something using her method and her technique but this one is just going to be a follow-up on what I did yesterday just to oh geez I could have gone with extra extra white ooey dooey okay I'm gonna to have to use my fingers to spread it no problem and um, I don't know what I was talking about got sidetracked um, yeah not necessarily doing the same sort of thing but using using her method for sure and uh, all credit for this method goes absolutely goes to Kathy Lane who is um, just amazing go check her out please um, and have a look at her artwork and what she does it's just mind-blowing seriously and so quick too doesn't seem to take a long time other than doing layers and things like that and then she does the uh, some handwork, as she calls it, which is like does some acrylic um, fixing things up and uh, adding to the design, which is uh, quite amazing as well. It just shows what an amazing, amazing artist she is. Alrighty, so let's get to this little baby. What I'm doing here is just spreading this white which is an angel white just want to get it all the way to the edges I've taped this just with a masking tape it's not the best for this kind of thing but it'll do the job it'll do what, what I want it to do and then before it sets I'll take it off which allows the resin to just kind of fall down gracefully and not to kind of dry up and Give you those sharp, sharp edges. So that's what I'm doing, just spreading. There we go. For any of you who are not in my Facebook group, please join us. Share your artwork, share your knowledge. It is an absolutely beautiful community of resin artists uh, uh, actually acrylic and resin pouring artists and uh, you can learn a lot from from people in there you know I, I know that I sure have learned a lot and uh, I learn a lot from people who are experienced and people who are new at it because newbies are just amazing to me because they they try these things and they stumble on something and they say how do they do it and I'm like good that's amazing so it's all good the group is called fluid art community with Susanna Danks and uh, it's an amazing amazing place so do come and visit us say hello say good day so I'm just gonna add not adding anything just a little bit of a torching so help that level out a bit with the heat to pop the bubbles of course that's that and I haven't mixed the rest of my colors I got too excited about talking to, about um, 
Kathy Lane. Just need to do that. Anyway, a little bit of uh, purple gold. 10% should do almost a full cup of this. I don't want a lot of interference in here. So, And I do want some of the Peacock Dance, which I've run out of. So it's not available at the moment in the shop, guys. I'm very sorry. I just have to mix some more. So I'm just mixing it now. Okay, so here's the peacock dance. Just a stunning color. And um, I love this color. And unfortunately, uh, there's none of it left. It's just sold out. So I do these videos and people see these amazing colors and then they, you know, they have to have it, which is really, really great. But now I have to mix them all, which is also great. No problem with that. So it looks like I've only got two colors and I'm gonna save a little bit of this resin for my gold, because I wanna have some gold in there. And I've got a little cup here. See how much I can scrape up out of here. Put it in my cup. Don't want too much gold, it tends to take over. So a tiny little bit like this, maybe 20 milliliters, not even, will do it. Get a little stick. Molten gold is the pigment. You don't need a lot at all. That's all I'm putting in there. Tammy Anderson also, um, if, if ever you can't get a hold of me <laughs> about the pigments, you can ask Tammy because she she's been using them for a while now and she uh, understands how they work she's also got um, a YouTube channel which you can visit and learn from and also Laura Laura uh, Brown Usher she is my distributor in the States if anybody wants to buy these uh, pigments you don't have to worry about the shipping because you can get them from America how cool is that? I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so, and she also knows a lot about the pigments. So, um, you can drop her a, an email or, you know, pop into her shop and just um, do your thing. But uh, she's very, very, very helpful and she's great. She's just absolutely amazing when it comes to customer service. So you won't regret dealing with him, dealing with her. Oh, I've got a little bit of something here that I've got to dig out. Um, okay, gonna give it some more torching. It's getting a bit dark here, so I've got to get on with it. This is not going to take too long. to dig out that I can see over here right there sometimes they just pop back in and then you can't uh, see them anymore but anyways right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drizzle right across so I usually the last one I kind of went sideways diagonally and this time I'm going to go right across and then see what happens. Move this out of the way so I don't get it too messy. I'm going to start with the peacock. Peacock dance. Here we go. So I'm doing crisscrossing. And it's kind of falling in there. Got to go fast because I'm trying not to get these little zigzaggy things that you can see there. Although they will create some really really cool effects as well oh, got some splattage there do it a little bit thicker some thicker lines some thinner lines and I'm trying to leave a little bit of negative space this will spread 
so I'm trying to contain it all in here and because I've got quite a bit that one. Let's go with the purple and I might just use another stick. Maybe if I use a smaller stick. I haven't actually mixed this one so let's mix it real quick just here. Another gorgeous color. Purple gold. This is stunning. And we're going to do this. by the end like by the time I'm done with it it could completely change I never know this is just the idea that I had and I thought I would just go with it and see what happens but if I don't like it I will very easily change things and here we go same kind of thing zigzaggy thingies I will introduce a little bit of heat to it, or a lot, like I said, don't know, we'll see. Sometimes you just can't learn everything unless you do it, and then you see that it's not working, then you have to change it, you've got to be spontaneous. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the gold. Just not all of it, just a little bit, and then I'm going to heat it up. I had a real thick line there of that purple, so I purposely went across with the gold. And I like to have the gold um, on the white, because I think gold and white, as well as gold and purple, look just amazing. And then a little bit inside, everywhere. Just like that. Gold is quite a heavy, heavy pigment. It will fall like they all did. I could leave it and see what they do or we can just get the heat gun. Wow, so that's pulling back in now and you can see all those cells opening up but it's looking too grey now because that blue kind of merged in with the white too much. So we're going to try and fix that and it's quite thick there. I'm going to try and push it out a little bit just to see what happens. Wow, that's looking really awesome. Really cool. Those two spots there I don't like. This hair needs to go. I might be able to dig them out. Somehow. Oh no. Try something else. It's got a couple of drops of white here. I might be able to camouflage it. Okay, 
I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to let it spread like that. Got some really cool cells happening, but I want to pull it up. I want more color, I want more vibrancy, I want something more, 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 more. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. We've got to do something. Okay. I think I want more of this. In the middle. And then I'm going to go with the gold. Because the gold and the purple just look amazing together. I might not end up with a negative space after all. Interesting, we'll see. This is just clear. Certainly not the effects that I was expecting, but let's see, I've got some more blue there. Oh, got lots of blue. That's really exciting. Okay, here we go. We will definitely use the heat. I think. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Peacock dance. Okay, so I've used up all my pigment, got nothing there, and what I will do is, I might just do a swipe, actually what I will do is up here, play with that a bit.
The thing is about these pigments is no matter how much you manipulate it, it just just lets you. Look at that. It's just okay. Totally not what I plan to do, but I like it. And I've got oopsie a little bit of um, clear left. Hang on a minute. I'll mix it with a bit of this white. I just have to fix. I've got a little bit overexcited there with the heat. So that's what happens. And I get really happy when I use up all my resin and I don't have any wastage. And I don't even have enough for my side project, which I was going to do. Alrighty, so I'm just going to watch it for a little bit. I can still play with that for a little while if I want it to. Um, when it uh, thickens up, see that's still pretty pretty wet there. When it starts to harden, I could do something else. But look, this here looks like looks like a feather, like a little feathery kind of effect. So what I'm doing now is I'm just pushing it up a little bit. I've got some really cool cells happening. Look at that, it's a huge cell right there. And this kind of just pushes it up a little bit and then pulls it back in and gives it that. Shoo. Got a nice cell there, I don't want to disturb it. So this is just like playing now. It's all I'm doing. Playing with it. Trying not to to ruin it, but I love that. And you've seen how I did that. It was quite easy. Just by pushing the resin. And that's what I call manipulating. That's what I'm doing. And that's what you do. I'm just pushing some of this resin up here. To try to do the same thing with this part here. Just trying not to touch the colour. Like I did there. I didn't realise there was some underneath. But that's alright. So that looks pretty cool right there. See if I can do the same up top here. Just to give it some interesting effects because I'm not 100% happy with it. Not as easy doing it this way. <laughs> Try like so. You're just pushing the actual white. In this case it's white and try not to pick up the, the other colour and creating this kind of uh, interesting effect. so it's totally not what I visualized and what I wanted to create but you know what this is something new again something new and exciting and I'm happy when things like that happen very very happy because um, I've just created something completely different Completely different.
sorry, when I stop talking I'm probably not even breathing. I'm trying to get these right because you don't want to kind of mess it up. I'm going to try and make it look the way you want it to look, a little bit here. Hopefully this now will just stay as is. And then you can get the, a kind of a pointy stick and just pull these out a bit. Hopefully you don't have a shaking hand, shaky hand like me. You just try. If it doesn't look right, don't don't do it. Just stop. I like to try different things. I'm just wiping it with my... I think that looks pretty amazing. That one can go that way a bit. So that they're still sitting beautifully without movement. Okay, where's my... Which one did I use? Might want to fix this one a bit. Not as easy doing it from this way. And it's um it's getting a bit thicker now, so what I'll do is I'll just pull. That one can go that way. Looks like a little flame. There's already some blue there. I'm trying to make it look like a bit of smoke just to camouflage it a bit. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks really, really interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, interesting. Again, a bit of smokiness here. This is like a purple smoke here. Blend it in a bit. A little bit of gold left, I might be able to do something interesting here. Not bad considering we're supposed to be on real quick. A real quick video. Black, the um, gold kind of disappeared 
disappears a little bit but it still gives you a little bit of something there just going to put little dots of gold in here just so it looks like something rather maybe something from nature You know what, I am amazed at how subconscious works, so even though I am an art therapist and I know better, but even though I did say I didn't want to do anything like um, Kathy Lane in this piece, that was something that I was planning for another day, maybe tomorrow, but still, although this is nothing like it, nowhere near, I mean, as good it's just somehow turned into something similar like even these little dots that I'm doing putting through look at this like little eyes which remind me of some of her florally kind of uh, paintings so subconscious is absolutely amazing you can't escape even though didn't plan it at all just somehow happened it's in the back of my mind I think that is uh, it's got a lot of character there's something in there let's pull it in there I've got a little bit of this purple left enough to do the kind of similar things and that's like adding some dots and lines and things I was going to get some alcohol and just spray some alcohol over it but I won't do that now because I'm, I'm liking these kind of and if I have to do another layer just to kind of fix it up I'll, I will but I, I don't know we'll see you never know it turned out to be a real long video there's that white if I can pop a little bit of white in some of these areas. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that was a big one. Need a bigger one for here. Like so. Open that up a bit. Another big one here. Some of that peacock dance right in there. Maybe in there. And I think I'm gonna leave it, kind of leave it alone maybe. Let's see if I can do this. I think because there's so much white there that uh, all the rest of the colours just disappear in there. But it's still adding Whatever you do, it's still adding things to it, you know. That's kind of changed a bit now. And it will keep changing.
Okay, I don't think I want to play with it anymore. I could keep doing this. But uh, I think I just want to kind of um, heat it up a little bit, maybe with the, with the torch. Just to pop the bubbles and I'm going to leave it alone and see what uh, it does all by itself. Let's leave it alone and see what happens. I'll, go, I'll show you a close-up real soon. Bye for now. This is just a um, little bit of alcohol that I've got. I'm just putting it inside these big cells. Just a little dot. Once again, this was inspired also by Kathy Lane, but she uses uh, Resi Blast. I don't use Resi Blast. Just worried about it exposing the canvas, but it's not. It's just, just kind of opening up these cells and closing them back. They just need a tiny little bit, not a lot at all. And it does not working on areas that are too thick. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna put it somewhere where we can open up this. Expose all that beautiful pigment underneath there. See all that blue is coming up. Did say I was going to leave it alone. <laughs> I know. Some more there. Could spray it, but not. Uh, just want to control it a little bit. Although it looks like I'm just dumping this wherever, but I'm controlling it better than if I was um, just spraying it over the top. Right. Goodness gracious. Why didn't that work? Too thick maybe. Ah, oh, yep, work that time and it's huge. So just making sure that that resin gets pulled back in. I want a, a big blob here. To open that up. One here. Pretty cool. Okay, now what I'm going to do is 
and enough of playing. Enough of playing. Oopsie. Oh my goodness. Everything's flying everywhere. I've got a tiny little bit of clear left that I just want to put over here to cover that because I've got a, a hole there. And here. Got a little bit overexcited with the with the um, alcohol. So this is what I'm doing now. This is just gonna create some something else again. It's pretty cool. Alright. Needs oh it's getting a bit dark now. No light in here. Okay, real quickie. That turned into something completely not what I expected, um, but it's quite interesting. Let's try and take the tape off. And try not to mess up your artwork. While you're doing it, I'm just hoping that this doesn't pull this doesn't pull over too much because I or inside and mess up the design, but we'll see. So now I'm going to leave it alone. I've got no light anyway in here. And uh, wow, look at these. How cool are they? They look like big, um, I don't know, brown flowers. Um, yeah, quite interesting. There's a little bit of movement. I'm just going to leave it alone now. I could still play with it, guys. It's still not too thick, but I just um, I want to leave it alone now. To do its own thing and uh, you know it's gonna be dark in here so I'll leave it at that and um, show you the product tomorrow morning actually because it's uh, it's night time here now so tomorrow morning I'll um, do a close-up please stay like that or if you're changing just do something really awesome that's all I'm gonna say thanks for watching guys and thanks for your patience <laughs> bye for now